Yeah, yeah I, otherwise I would have been, I guess, fighting. I would have been a free, free fighter, definitely. Was there maybe in that time where you weren't practicing music something else that, that replaced it a little bit, that you could really dig into a little bit, uh, like a hobby or something? Yeah, I, I started to, um, to kind of um, practice um, kickboxing and uh, free fighting. Still do that? Um, no, don't, don't do that anymore because I get, I get hurt too much. Because um, I'm like a, a sparring partner for, for people that have to do, uh, like, let's say, matches and I'm just, I just want to fight. Which gym you're in? Uh, no, it's not a gym. It's just like people that are in a gym, but you know they want they, they hire you. They to hire work. me to to you know as a sparring partner. So um, you know and, and just to, just to get some aggression off. So you need the aggression aspect a little bit. In, yeah. In otherwise, I would have been I guess fighting. I would have been a free free fighter definitely. How far were you in the, in the, in getting to that stage? Well, you know, if if pestles didn't happen for me, then I would probably been uh, doing matches right now, because I, I I love to be uh, physical and uh, the aggression that I can take out. Mm -hmm. I mean, music is just like a, a, a an outlet of aggression, death metal that is, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I, after a show, I, I'm just totally, I'm I'm fine, you know, I'm I'm relaxed and I'm. So that's that's it's just like a fighting match. Similar after a match or a sparring yes, session. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, now, uh, the newest record, we have to get to that point as well. Yeah. Um, can you tell, uh, yeah, there's actually now the thing that I was interested in, you with the new drummer, who is a bit younger, maybe, uh, yeah. as your age when you were... Yeah, he's, he's 23 and he, you, you know that he's got that, that magical fire that I, uh, that, uh, that I had when I was that age. Um, but I think that, you know, having uh, this young influence in the band that kind of... Uh, rekindles the fire you know it, it's like mm -hmm. oh okay we got a young guy there and he's like full of passion and full of uh, energy we got to keep up with that you know so it keeps it keeps us young as well yeah is it important for you to have uh, at least one guy that is maybe a little bit yeah, def yeah definitely 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 we need people people uh, not just in the band but we need people around us that are very driven that are very emotional that are very energetic about what they want what they uh, what they do you know so and then that, that keeps you uh, on your qui vive, you know, mm -hmm. so that's very important for us. And how is it to, to, to join, uh, yeah, Jeroen having Jeroen back again also? In, uh, yeah. Was that for you, can you remember the first chat, were you always in contact with him or did it... Did well, we kind of lost track after Spheres. Um, me and Patrick, we, we hung out, um, mm -hmm. of course, um, uh, more often because he's my buddy. But even after that, I was living in Enschede and, and, and he lives in Amsterdam. That one and a half hour travel, after a while, it, it gets tiring and then you, you kind of lose, lose interest in the, because it's just too much involved after you work, you know, in the weekends, you're tired. Then you got to do all the traveling and blah, blah, blah. So we wouldn't see each other that much anymore. Uh, it's not losing interest. It's just like there's just so much happening in your life, really, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, same goes for Jeroen, but Jeroen um, uh, I saw, I guess, uh, at, at, a, at a festival in uh, in Czech Republic, I think it was, Brutal Assault. Was Obscura when I, or was he there? Was he, he was there playing for Obscura, I think, mm -hmm. yes. And they played the day before and uh, I was there and, um, and uh, Tony Choi was playing the bass for us. and. Uh, and I talked to Jeroen and, and it, it felt, again, because me and Jeroen were also buddies from the past, you know. I would always go to his house and he would go come to my house, but we had music and listening sessions to the big jazz uh, guys. And, uh, was he a flamenco fan, I think? Yeah, definitely, well. yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we would hang out a lot, you know, and, 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 and then we would contemplate about what we would do in the in future times with music. But then I met him again at Brutal Assault and like, well, Tony Choi is going to be history pretty soon because you know, the guy is too expensive and, uh, and, and also um, I would like to have a real band again. Guys from Holland, you know, that you can, you know, ha you know hang out with and, and it's easier logistically es especially uh, not having to fly everybody in, you know, and with Peter will do the same, you know. I didn't have the band feeling, but now this is the first time that I have that band feeling again. Four Dutch guys, really. Do you know, did you know that he was also involved again with in metal or was yeah of course I knew no I, I knew that he was doing uh, yeah. Obscura mm -hmm. and I was like wow uh, damn I didn't know that Jeroen was doing metal yeah. uh, and especially me not listening to metal at all but sometimes you know you would hear fragments of people saying stuff I'm like Jeroen playing metal so then I saw him I'm like dude are you are you up to it are, are you interested and he was like very interested in and in, 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 because Spheres was 
for us also a magical moment really because we, we tried to do some groundbreaking stuff back then you know mm -hmm. uh, you know it was not it was not well received but for us the feeling was very good